many of you were able to come here to celebrate with us today. We know that you really went out of your way, taking time off work and spending a lot of money to be here, and we really appreciate it. How many היה לנו חשוב מאוד להתחתן בארץ, לעשות את זה בחוג המשפחתי גם בארץ. ואנחנו רוצים להגיד תודה לכולכם, שאתם עושים לנו את היום באמת... סליחה. פעם אחרונה שנתתם יום בעברית זה היה בכיתה ב', אז אני מסתכל. האווירה והשמחה שאתם נותנים לנו כאן באמת עשתה את זה שווה, עשתה החלטה טובה, הייתה החלטה טובה להביא את זה לארץ. אנחנו רוצים להודות לכם ובשמי ובשם ג'ואנה שהגעתם לכאן. Just to translate, for those that don't speak Hebrew, I was simply thanking all our Israeli guests for behaving so well. <laughs> for coming on time, for queuing politely at the buffet, and for listening in perfect silence to all the speeches. So far. So far. It is customary in the UK for the groom to make a speech. Usually he says how wonderful his bride is, how happy they are together. and how perfect they are for each other. But as you can see, Joanna and I decided to do a joint speech. This is because I am a true believer in equality between husband and wife. And what a better place to start than this wedding speech. In other words, I'm the boss. <laughs> People are often surprised quite how different Joanna and I are. Let us give you a few examples of our differences. I would describe myself as a thoroughly relaxed, go-with-the-flow kind of girl. <laughs> I'm totally unfazed by anything that comes my way, <laughs> and have remained 100% calm at all times when planning this wonderful wedding. <laughs> I, on the other hand, am a little bit more uptight. <laughs> Your typical Brit. Being the traditional guy that I am, there is nothing I love more than sitting in a comfortable chair amongst the buzzing crowd at the opera. And I love the ballet, and I, even, I can even tell the difference between the Tchaikovsky version and the Prokofiev version of Romeo and Juliet. He's such a cultured guy. He keeps dragging me to all the latest museum exhibitions, art galleries and classical concerts. And she insists on dragging me to all the Manchester United games whenever we visit my family in Manchester. It's my favourite team. <laughs> And it's not only our interests that differ, it's our taste. I love coffee. <laughs> Nothing gives me more satisfaction than digging into my favorite dish. Red lentil soup, followed by green bean and tofu salad. Nah, it's all about a juicy steak for me. Yeah. And it's also clear that I am the fashion guru within this relationship. He masterminded the creation of this beautiful wedding dress. And doesn't she look stunning? Yeah! yeah. Stunning to your flat. So as you can see, we really are quite different. It's a good thing my sister-in-law, Liron, didn't think too hard before setting us up. Thanks, Liron. We owe you one. So, ladies and gentlemen, please feel free to send Mrs. Liron Cohen your expenses for your flights, <laughs> food and accommodation here in Israel. because of her that we're all here today. Mm. <laughs> we'll send you the bill as well. <laughs> Whilst we are different, we have learned to adapt to one another. I've started learning Hebrew. I taught Joanna some important phrases such as Ken, I'm a kid. Let's boss. And <laughs> Very hard to translate, but essentially it means What the hell? <laughs> I want food, and now, and she even added an English twist. Please. Despite our differences, we have... Ah, sorry, I forgot. And I have been learning some new legal terminology. As a lawyer, I know how important it is to be aware of the relevant legal issues for one's circumstances. Recently, I taught Kafir all about... The prenup. <laughs> no, we kidding. Like all couples, we also have our disagreements. The choice of surname has sparked the most debate. Obviously, Joanna should change her surname to Strasberg. But I really like Cohen. 
But Cohen is such a common name. Just look around you. Every other person is a Cohen. Exactly. It's popular. <laughs> Where Strasberg is unique. We really are one of a kind. Quite simple, look. As for sugar, it's for healthy, for tango, for roger, for Oscar, it's for sugar, for bravo, for echo, for roger, for golf. Simple. <laughs> what about a double bound name? Joanna Cohen Strasberg has a nice ring to it. Way too long. It won't even fit the forms in order to get a change in the first place. Okay. I've heard of some couples creating a combination of both their surnames to create a new one. So let's see. Our options are. Coburg, that sounds Coburg. Or Strossen. Yeah. There is no way I'm changing my surname to Strossen. Hi, Strossen. Darling, we've only been married a few hours. Let's not argue already. Mm. I know we're different, but as we all know, opposites attract. When I met Kafir, I knew he was something special. Mm -hmm. He radiates strength, warmth, and kindness. When he's beside me, I feel I can do and achieve anything. Jana is not only strong, beautiful, and intelligent. She's also incredibly fun, caring, passionate, and loving. Jana has shown me a new world I never knew existed. We've spent some amazing moments together, and I know that this is just the beginning of an amazing future. We must now, and we must of course mention some important family members. My cousin Igal and our resident photographer. Thank you so much. Your help the past few months and being so patient with me. Dana, thank you for helping us take care of this wedding. We really would have been lost without you. And now we must thank our new in-laws. Hedy and Marco. I apologize once again for the trick I played on you for, when asking for your permission to propose to Joanna. I just couldn't resist it. But I'm truly grateful to you and the extended Cohen family for being at home away from home whilst my family is scattered across Manchester and Israel. Hagit and Isik, thank you so much for welcoming me into your warm and loving family and for hosting me so many times at your home in Manchester. Maybe one day I'll forgive you for the awkward surname. <laughs> and our own parents, of course. Mum and Dad, wow, what a year you've had. New home, new gorgeous granddaughter. New gorgeous son-in-law. <laughs> <laughs> We all know the phrase, give a man a fish and you feed him for a day. Teach a man how to fish and you feed him for a lifetime. You have brought me up and taught me to make the most of every opportunity that comes my way and I would not be where I am if not for you. And talking of fish, you're gonna catch a great one right here. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it from us. Time to get the party started. Please, everyone, get up from your tables. Join us for our very first dance. <laughs> 